Hey, this is uh, Trek with Peace Corps Ghana, May 2017. I'm here with Andrew, and we are ready to go. We are just a couple of hours for, before our flight to Ghana, and I have some questions for Andrew about why he's involved in the Peace Corps. Let's get started. All right. Andrew, how are you feeling about what's to come? Uh, nervous and excited, so I just feel like I've got a lot of energy, and I'm just supposed to sit on it. What, what do you mean? Well, we are just waiting for the next seven hours, and then we're getting on a plane and sitting for another ten hours. So I feel like I've got all this energy, and all I'm supposed to do is sit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Time boss sort of thing? <laughs> uh, not like I'm going to explode, but I just, I don't know. feels like I could run a marathon or something. Yeah, I understand the feeling. All right, so uh, tell us about yourself. Why are you qualified for Peace Corps? Uh, I am a biochemistry major, so I'm going to be heading over there to teach science classes. Uh, part of the biochemistry program, I get classes in physics, biology, and chemistry. So I'm hopefully well qualified to teach any of the sciences that they need me for. What subjects are your students learning? I don't know yet. <laughs> All they told me was science. Is that, is that one of your stressors in this sort of? It is a bit. Um, I do feel like I could probably pick it up, whatever they throw at me, but I would have liked more details so that I could just have been preparing these extra months. Uh -huh. But this is the way they do it, and it works, so I'm trusting the system. All right. What are you expecting the experience will be like? Um, I expect for a long time everything is going to feel new, so I'm going to be walking around staring at everything and just soaking it in the way that you do when you're visiting a new place. Um, I'm hopeful though that before I'm done it's gonna feel like home and I'm just gonna form relationships with people that are really meaningful to me. Uh, how would you feel if that didn't happen? Um, I would feel a little disappointed but it's it's not my main reason for going so I guess I would also understand if language barriers or just culture differences kept that from happening. All right, well, now you've piqued my curiosity. What is your main reason for going? Um, I feel like as a, as a lucky human being, I feel like I've had a lot of advantages. I should contribute some portion of my life to service, to help those who maybe didn't get the same advantages, um, hopefully give somebody a leg up and uh, make an impact on their life. Charity, right? Yeah. Not just charity, I mean, I, I like to be charitable, but a lot of times it doesn't seem like charity keeps going forward. It's sort of a one-time thing. I'm hoping that this will be something that the impact ripples outwards. All right. Uh, what's one strength about yourself that you expect will lead to your success? Um, I'm very comfortable in almost any situation, so... Um, as far as the, the physical environment, I've been in very hot places, I've been in very cold places. Uh, I've lived in a nice house, I've lived in a tiny cramped house with too many people. So I think I'm ready for that aspect of it. Are you an outdoorsman or are you referring to something else? I do love the outdoors, I love hiking, camping, anything like that. Okay. Now what's a weakness that you are afraid of or are nervous about overcoming? I'm a little worried that my social awkwardness will come across as uh, standoffishness, so maybe they'll think that I don't want to form relationships, um, when really maybe I'm just intimidated. Or a foreigner. Yeah, exactly. So I'm hoping that that is not the case, but it is a possibility, because uh, I can be socially awkward sometimes, and I can be an introvert sometimes, um, though I, I do love to meet people and have one-on-one -on -one conversations. Uh, last one. What is one thing you'd like to share with people considering Peace Corps? Um, it's a great system. If you are thinking that you want to immerse yourself in another country, I can't recommend a better program. The support that they give you, the experience that they have, it just is a one-of-a-kind opportunity. And so if you feel like you're in a place in your life where you can do it, pursue it because there's nothing like it and it's life-changing. I can say that even though we haven't gone yet, I think we're all starting to feel already that it's gonna have this huge impact on our lives. I couldn't agree more. Thanks. Absolutely. See you, folks.